hello beautiful people you're welcome back to the channel our channel actually my name is Genevieve and on this channel I share a lot of tips and clues that helps stay home moms and wives to be super smart moms and wives I also share general lifestyle and you know all my experiences with regards to marriage parenting and motherhood so if this is a place you would love to be i know it is a place you would love to be please make this make it permanent by clicking the subscribe button and subscribing to my channel also don't forget to share this video if it speaks to you directly okay and to my returning subscribers guys thank you so so much we are climbing the ladder slowly but surely however i'm done rehearsing for the videos of when we are going to hit that 1k and get uh, monetized and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and i know that soon enough it's going to come to pass so for today's video, I want to share something I've been seeing, okay, Kamsin Naman has shared something about um, how to level up in your 20s. I also saw Alma Angle share something about how to level up in your 30s. But there is this aspect of leveling up that I, I feel is particular to me and to a lot of moms out there. So to be sharing how to level up as a stay-home mom i want us to understand that this act of leveling up does not have to do with perfection you know it's actually a journey okay i have to take my time to understand what does this leveling up actually means so it has to do with taking out something you know to bring in something better to step up the value of what was already existing so you can level up your life to maybe suit a better taste or a higher taste i don't know if, if that makes sense to all of us so i believe that we all understand what leveling up means right now so let us get to it how to level up as a stay home mom so for me the first thing to do in order to level up as a stay home mom is number one you have to be a smart mom you know gone are the days when they call people ordinary housewives gone are the days when people are just at home you know just being regular do chores and watch babies and just run the home people are now stepping up to do better things at home not like the mom activities and wife activities is not enough work but what i mean is that you can be smarter by being a mom at home and you're working from home. Some persons are working from home actually, but I'm talking to people who are probably not working. You can be doing things from home and be earning cool cash. There are a lot of things that people do from the comfort of their homes and they are tagged stay home moms. Meanwhile, these women are cashing out in dollars and pounds telling really we should consider stepping up our game so that we will not just be ordinary housewives or ordinary stay-home moms these things so many hustles and side hustles i'm going to be doing a full video on the hustles and side hustles you can do from the comfort of your home so look forward to that the second thing that you would do in order to level up as a stay-home mom is you need to be organized as a matter of fact i think this should have come first okay you need to organize your life i i i have done nine to five job and i am now a stay-home mom working and doing businesses from home so i can tell you for free that doing a nine to five job was easier for me than now okay being a stay-at-home mom automatically increased my mental workload. Back then when I was working, immediately I step out of the house and go to the office. Every other thing happening in the house will wait till I get back. Do you get? But now, you're home, you have to organize the house, you have to also make the house so comfortable for you to be able to you know, create a healthy um, mental space for yourself. A lot of things happen. You are the chief consulting officer of your life, your career, your business. There is no manager to give you brief or what to do. There is no supervisor to tell you what to do. You are the chief organizing officer of your life. So if you have not learned to organize your life, you have to organize your life. If it means keeping a journal, keep a journal. If it means 
keeping diaries, keep diaries to help you organize your head, to help you organize your life. Now, one thing I know that I do with respect to this organizing my life is I have started keeping lots of notes. I declutter my head, okay? I'm running a YouTube channel. I have to create content for my Instagram page. I have to, you know, do a lot of things, create the content for my um, business. I have to post on WhatsApp. I have to do this. I have to do that. Do you get to have to take care of the kids also? So what I do is I organize my life. I put down everything I need to do. A to-do list got so real now for me. Because if I do not organize myself, how am I possibly going to, you know, take care of the kids, take care of hobby, attend to everybody. Everybody needs a, a, a piece of me in the house. So leveling up here, you have to organize your life. If not, you're going to break down. So why taking notes, declutter your head and be sure of what you need to keep in your head and the things you need to let go of. Because you can't afford to be keeping junk when you already have a lot of workload, mental workload already as a mom. Delete the gossip. You cannot concern yourself with all the gossips happening, especially on social media because most times, social media becomes your best friend. You're sitting on the couch, lounging, you're on all gossip blogs, you're everywhere trolling people with fake accounts. Because you think you have time and a man is out there making money to pay your bills, then you're just sitting back at the couch and what you do with your time is gossip. Please, sis, stop the gossip. Take it away completely. You're not going to be gossiping with nobody. That you're not going to be meeting neighbors to gossip. I want to believe that we still do not have women who like go out to look for who to gossip with or to gossip about. Okay? I want to believe that we don't have women like that in this time and age. Also try as much as possible to be abreast with contemporary issues, real news, not gossip. It's not every time James Brown, Bob Risky, one celebrity gist or the other. Those ones are okay when it comes to your entertainment, but when was it comes to holding decent, I mean, quality conversations. If they ask you about what is really going on in Russia, can you be able to tell exactly what is happening between Russia and Ukraine? Can you be able to hold gist about politics right now in Nigeria? 2023 is around the corner. You know, these are issues of concern. Women are taking over. In this generation, tech is more of women. Can you be able to say something about what women are doing in the tech industry now? These are contemporary issues, okay? So when you are talking with someone, I mean, they know that this woman is not just sitting at home. She's at the top of her game, 100%, okay? So try and take your time to find out what is going on. In the process of doing that, trust me, my point number one will come to life. You will find a lot of ways to make money when you're following up with global trends. Just imagine, you, you might be thinking that A is no longer working, but if you are up to date with global trends, you understand what is going on, where the money is moving to, where things are moving to, so that you will cash out as much as possible. That is what I mean by being a smart mom. Get help. Nannies, drivers, um, housekeepers and all forms of support staff. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. They are no longer luxuries. As long as you can afford to have them, please get them to help yourself. The mental workload of a woman is already enough for a woman to break down or suffer any kind of breakdown. So you need to get as much help as you can afford. Washing machines, dishwashers, vacuum cleaners, as much as you can get all those smart um, home appliances, please do to take away that stress from you. Nobody is going to clap for you for doing all the work by yourself. Instead, you're going to look all old and edgy and tacky, you know, and your husband will move on. No, mm. no talks are no tell you, but truly and Please, sis, let's have this conversation. 
if you can afford to get any kind of help that you think can help you take away any stress from you please do especially in a country like nigeria where the systems are not working if we are living in yankee or abroad where the systems are a bit more, more much more organized not a bit much more organized we can say okay let's deal with you know all the help we can get from what the system has provided but then in a country like nigeria where we are believing god for every single thing helps are essentials please do yourself a favor until you move to yankee eh find a nanny get as much as you can enjoy the fact that those services are kind of affordable in nigeria enjoy it while it lasts okay so don't even allow anybody to make you feel like you trip you into saying but but you're a stay-at-home mom you can as well do this but you can do this by yourself hell no sis no being a stay-at-home mom doesn't mean that you aren't working you are working being a wife and a mom is a lot of work already so if someone can help you take away any form of stress accept it another aspect of getting help is i'm guilty of this i usually resist help when people are trying to help me for example okay not like i'm trying to resist help i always feel like i'm going to be inconveniencing you so much so because of that you might as well just leave me i'll figure it out one of it is when my daughter was not feeling fine and my husband was not around and i had to take all the children to the hospital the kids were in the hospital jumping from one place to the other i don't even know who to ask i don't even know and it was at the beginning of the year so i felt this was going to be too much of a request to come and start looking for who to ask okay come and carry the children can i keep my kids with you you know it was heavy for me but thank god someone offered and i was willing she took the boys and she took care of the boys and they were good until we were back from the hospital so this is me i'm talking to myself as i'm saying this accept help you are not jackie accept help when people try to help you okay. have a lot of savings try as much as possible to buy yourself all the good things as you're making money at home you know this money at home is so sweet you know when you're staying at home you just press laptop chica, 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 bum, money comes in you press your phone chica, 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 bum, money comes in you know and it's so sweet that you want to just be doing the river it is but sis it's okay for you to also have savings save for the rainy days save for nothing and they will say it's good for you to invest your money you don't have money lying in the bank invest some my sister it's also good for you to have money that you want to use for nothing money that you will save save it though if it anyhow you can save your money save your money you don't want to be a woman that your husband will be at a fix or at a very tight position and you cannot bail him out it is very <laughs> it can be very embarrassing okay no matter how small it is just make sure you have savings it's not like you're calling it your own but you're keeping it as emergency money our mothers used to tie it at the hem of their wrappers back in the days it has not stopped it has not changed that money should not be found lacking in your account somewhere where hobby will not see it it doesn't mean that you're hiding things from hobby from where i'm standing it means that you're just setting some things aside for the rainy day the next point on leveling up as a stay-at-home mom is get the hell out of those pajamas okay not the hell part but please get out of your pajamas okay in the morning when every other person is getting ready for work have that work mindset get out of your pajamas take a shower get your hair done get your nails in order it doesn't have to be fixed nails but at least make sure that your nails are not covered with ugu water or turmeric water just make sure that your hands are clean you know not like being so rough and looking so rough handle with all the kitchen knives and marks and you know all those things that makes you look you know but you get what i'm saying so Take care of yourself, that is my point. You don't want your husband going to work and before he left the house, you were looking like this. And then he gets back from her work, you're looking like this. Oh, okay. 
the both of them are the same thing. So you don't want hobby to see you this way going out and also see you this way coming back. I remember very well when we were being taught, you know, about being a fascinating woman in church, our pastor said, there are sharks out there. You don't know the kind of women that these men meet outside. That is the reason why you should step up your game, level up. By the time he's leaving in the morning, you should have, you know, taken your bath and you're wearing a very, very beautiful lounge wear and you're wearing some, you know, sweet smelling perfume and you're kissing him goodbye. Whilst you're kissing him goodbye, that's the picture he has in his mind. That is who he left at home. So all those ones outside, they can't compete. Do you understand? <laughs> they can only try, but cheek. <laughs> so I hope we got the point. The idea is whether you're going out or not, just look good. You don't have to um, reserve the whole um, sweetness or looking good or the good perfume for people outside there. You can just organize your life so that whether you're going out or not, you, you, you're a neat person, you're a decent person. You don't look tacky in the house and look good outside. Let what we see at home be the same thing we see outside. After all, they say charity begins from the home. So, take a shower, whether you're going out or you're not going out. The holies of holies can begin to, you know, release some oozy, 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 oozy. You don't want that to be you, right? <laughs> okay. This point is important because I've talked a lot about being a smart mom. Since we don't get to go out there every day to an office environment or to a work environment, a physical work environment, it means that the social media, the internet is our space. Okay, so it is time for you to be open to meeting people online. I have met very amazing people online. Very amazing people. Women, men, I've met very amazing people. I've done business with them and, you know, I've made money because I met them online. So, for me, social media is not a place where I form. I don't form. I can be, ah, I don't form. There is no forming in the, on this space, okay? Someone even told me that on this YouTube that if you're forming, you won't make money on YouTube. So, as my subscribers are not going, just very soon, you could see that I'll get really dramatic since you don't want to grow this channel. That's by the way. So, what I'm trying to say is this. If since you're making me... You're making money from this place. You're making money from this platform. It's not time for you to start forming for people. I don't mean that you should start paying attention to all the nonsense that you know pops into DMs online. But what I'm saying is that you should be able to filter reasonable conversations and attend to them very well. The internet is like your showroom. It's like your showcase. Okay, you are on people's faces without meeting them physically, without being with them physically. So, whenever they need somebody or something in relation with what you are doing, they will be they will, they will be able to contact you or reach out to you easily because they know that you are not going to be forming for them. So, my dear, don't be forming what you are not. Even if it's what you are, don't just be forming. When, when we are making money, we know they form. Okay, guys? So, that's it. Don't be forming. Be open. Be open to genuinely meet good people online. Okay? I don't mean the Tinder swindler guy. So, once again, ladies, eat light. Exercise. The world does not revolve around your kitchen. It does not revolve around your dining area. Neither does the world revolve around food. Take care of yourself. Stop making excuses about your body. Yes, I'm not body shaming you. Me, I still have my my own tummy fat layered here. But I am working hard to see that I get back to, you know, how we used to be. It cannot be 100%. But we'll make an effort. It's even a good thing that you're making an effort towards a healthy living. So either way, it's a win-win. You've leveled up and you're also healthy. I mean, it's a win-win for you at the end of the day. Okay? So it's not like you're working so hard for something that is not going to profit you. For something that is not going to profit your family or your kids. So anytime that you try
try to give up on any of these things just to remind yourself that it's a win-win i'm healthier and also i am I've, i'm leveling up okay another point that alma mentioned in her video that i also want to talk about is taking care of your skin being a stay-at-home mom gives you more advantage to achieving great skin because you're not always exposed to sunlight i mean it's your choice whenever you want to do any form of work you can choose when and when not to be exposed to sunlight so that is even enough reason for you to soak yourself in your skincare routine and allow yourself enjoy it in the comfort of your home you apply your cream you're not going to be sweating and you know if you go out you're not going to be looking for sunscreen just do your thing little by little and you see yourself working out a skincare routine that works for you and you maintain it and that's how you come out your skin is i'm talking to myself here because i'm not i'm not even big on skincare routine and skincare i just i've just i was blessed god blessed me anyway with great skin so i don't even know how to really really take care of it Recently, my face started breaking out. I don't even know what to do about it. I don't even know how to go on about it. So that is it for taking care of your skin. Just try and take care. As you are aging, as you're doing all the work you have to do as a mom, as a wife, your skin will be showing results. So the earlier you take care of your skin and exercise to firm it up, the better for you. Guys, I've come to the end of this video. Three things I'm going to take out about leveling up as a stay-at-home mom is this. One, delete the gossip. Delete any form of drama. Whatever form of drama, make sure you wrap it up and trash. You don't have time for any form of drama. Try and stay relevant. Don't be at home and in the kitchen and the world will just pass you by. You'll just be struggling to catch up. Try and stay relevant at all times. And then in conclusion, I want us to understand that this leveling up is a journey to perfection. Just like every other journey, take it one day at a time. When you make mistakes or when you don't meet up, Pat yourself in the back, but continue to do something. Continue to try and be consistent in doing the things you have to do. Your body will thank you. Your children will thank you. Your husband will thank you. Even you, you will thank yourself because you are a super smart mom. Thank you guys for sitting still and watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this video thoroughly. I want you to leave a sweet comment about how about how you're leveling up in your own jurisdiction as a maybe stay home mom or nine to five, however space you're leveling up. Just leave a kind comment and share my video, subscribe to my channel and invite people to subscribe to my channel too. Finally, finally, I left my Instagram handle all over through the video. So follow me on Instagram at gist with underscore underscore Genevieve. I'm a very cool kid on Instagram. You are going to enjoy me. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out. Okay, guys. Bye.